Welcome to part two of configuring ISOTAP. Now we finished part one right here on this screen and we had been discussing those five steps that we need to do to configure our Windows Server 2012 box as an ISOTAP router. So let's just dive in right here. First of all, we need to configure the server as a router, but understand that ISOTAP tunneling is already enabled on that server. Now, if you're connected to an IP version 6 network and you haven't done anything to disable IP version 6 on the machine, it's going to be pretty obvious. Now, most ISPs at this point support IP version 6, and if you just run a simple IP config command, you're going to see something very similar to this. Notice uh, we did IP config, and it's automatically reading some things about my Active Directory settings, but notice I can see here the IP address for my machine. Well, if I go down just a little bit, well, first of all, you can see some IP version 6 addressing up here. But if you look down here, you'll see Tunnel Adapter ISOTAP, and you'll see some more domain information that has to do with Active Directory. But if you look right here, here's the IP version 6 address. Now, notice something on the ISOTAP Tunnel Adapter. You see some IP6 prefix right here, 2002, 836B4, 8000, 0. But then this 5EFE is really the signature for ISOTAP. And then followed by that is my actual IP address from the IP version 4 setting. Notice right up here. Now this sometimes will show as hexadecimal. And it won't look this way. So the signature you're looking for is this 5EFE. But anyway, that's what it'll look like if you have it installed and working and you're getting an IP version 6 address. Now, first step, we need to configure our server to advertise itself as an ISOTAP router. And here's the command that you would use to do that. Notice, net sh interface IP version set, interface, and then you want to input the ISOTAP interface name or index. Then you want to set advertise equal to enabled. Well, you may be asking, well, wait a minute, what exactly is an ISOTAP interface name or index? Well, here's the way you find that out. At a command prompt, type net sh interface IP version 6, show interface, and you will get this type of printout. Now, when this data comes back, simply look at the index. Notice 12 is for the ISOTAP interface, and so index 12 is what we're going to use. And so we would execute this command set interface 12 to advertise equal enabled. Then our second command, we need to provide the ISOTAP prefix to our hosts. And this is to inform the ISOTAP hosts which prefix to use when they configure their own ISOTAP adapter. Now, if the prefix I want to use is the one that I pointed out to you just a couple of minutes ago, 2002-836-B4 and 8000, and notice we're using 64 bits as our network ID, then once again, I'm going to use the net sh command, and I'm going to send it uh, net sh interface IPv6 add route, and I give it the prefix that I want, the interface ID, publish equals yes. And at that point, I have published the prefix that I want. Then I will configure the router to forward packets. Now, I've told it to begin to advertise itself. I've told it the prefix. Now, I've got to tell the router to forward packets with that prefix to the IP version 6 network. Once again, I'll use the net sh command to enable forwarding on the NIC. Notice this is a network interface card that's in the machine, not the tunneling adapter. And so, I will call net sh interface. And notice I will choose set interface. And this is the LAN interface name or index and the advertise is enabled. But notice, this command uses the interface number for the NIC. Now, the interface number for the ISOTAP tunneling functionality was 12, but for the local area connection or for the network interface card, it's 11. So, I will call net sh interface IP version 6 interface 11. Forwarding is enabled. Then I need to enable routing on the ISOTAP adapter. Once again, the net sh command. And remember from earlier, the ISOTAP index number is 12. And so I will call net sh interface IP version 6, set interface 12, 
forwarding is enabled. And then I will provide the IP version 6 routes that will be advertised to hosts. And here, for an example, I'm just going to show you how to provide the default gateway that will get the traffic to the IP version 6 network. And you can also add specific routes, but I won't confuse you with that. This is the structure of the command, net sh, interface IPv6, add route. And this is like the standard default gateway address. Don't worry about what that means right now. And then I want to give it the LAN interface name or index and then send it next hop and give it the IP version 6 router address. Set the publish property to yes. And this is what that would look like in English with all of my information from this network. Notice I'm going to add the route, the default gateway in IP version 6 language, the 11, that is the index of the ISOTAP tunneling adapter. The next hop is the prefix that we put in there a little earlier, and publish is yes. Now, if all this IP version 6 stuff is a little bit foggy, welcome to the club. It's going to take some getting used to. But watch this part of this video. Watch part two of configuring ISOTAP a couple of times. I would strongly encourage you to go through this on your own machine and just get comfortable with it. But this is the way to manually configure ISOTAP on a Windows Server 2012 box.